Look, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much here, but we were the most spot on estimate for Tesla deliveries. So congratulations to anyone that watched the last couple of videos that was able to profit from that information. Tesla stock is also doing exactly what I thought it would do, making its way into the mid 220s following this delivery number. At the time of recording this video, Tesla's stock is almost $229 per share, up over 9% today. And this is exactly what I forecasted. The reason for this was because a lot of Wall Street were coming in with super low estimates for Tesla deliveries. Now, here on this channel, we track the data every day, especially Google Trends data, that was at record highs as far as durability and the, the amount of time it just continued to rise. We had never seen anything like it, and it was setting up for a stronger than expected quarter. But there were also some other pleasant surprises like Tesla's energy deployments that came in a lot better than expected as well. And that is also having a positive impact to Tesla's stock today. Not to mention all of that, Elon Musk also has a warning for Tesla shorts, in which today Tesla short sellers have already lost over $2 billion. But let's start with Tesla's delivery numbers. So Tesla delivered 443,956 vehicles in Q2, beating Wall Street's expectations of 438,000 with total Q2 production that was 400. 10,831. So this actually means Tesla sold down their inventory by about 34,000 vehicles or so. So for a lot of the bears out there that have been pointing to Tesla's inventory numbers that have been growing, inventory just got slashed by a a large margin. I believe this is around 45% of Tesla's total inventory that was run down in just the last quarter. This also overwhelmingly suggests that maybe better times ahead are coming for Tesla. And I think it really points to Tesla buying down the interest rate instead of cutting prices, and that is actually materially boosting demand. See, the problem was never Tesla cutting prices. The problem was Tesla was cutting prices and it was not boosting demand. It looks like Tesla buying down the interest rate is most definitely boosting demand. Now here on this channel, I expected around 440 to 445,000 deliveries. That was above Wall Street's consensus. That was above others like Troy Tesla. His estimate was about 423,000 deliveries. I figured it would come in around 440,000. We were pretty spot on with that, but I also expected Tesla stock would rally on this news. One, because the last couple of days, Tesla stock had been going pretty parabolic to the upside, breaking out above key levels of resistance. And that typically does not happen before a big catalyst unless someone already knew the numbers. Someone probably already knew what the numbers were roughly going to look like. Tesla also reported that energy deployments were 9.3 gigawatt hours in the quarter, a new record high. Tesla's energy storage deployments were up 132% versus just Q1 of 2024 so that's just versus last quarter so if you want a visual representation of what this actually looks like this is the chart for you i mean you went from 4,000 megawatt hours to almost 10,000 megawatt hours just on a quarter over quarter basis i mean that's that's insane sawyer Merritt says this suggests tesla's lathrop megapack factory is almost nearing full operational capacity which is 40 gigawatt hours per year tesla's new megapack factory currently under construction in shanghai is also designed to have a 40 gigawatt hour annual capacity this new factory factory is expected to start production in the first or second quarter of 2025 and he adds that tesla's energy business is just getting started. And this means that Tesla has now officially delivered over 6 million vehicles. This does bring the total to about 6,227,920 vehicles since Model S production started in 2012. And as far as pure EV sales in Q2 of 2024, Tesla coming in at 443,956. BYD comes in at 426,039. So Tesla has retaken that lead Yet again, Stephen Mark Ryan on X says Tesla delivers a few more vehicles than expected, up 9%. Tesla on the cusp of autonomy, down 50% from all-time highs and 8% year 
to date. Short-term, short-sighted nature of investors is a nutshell. Can't wait to see what happens when people figure out robotaxis are happening and the implications. Elon Musk responds and says, yeah, this is a this is small relative to the vehicle autonomy and Optimus. Elon Musk also responded to Holmar's catalog that shared this post from Yaman Test Dever. Maybe I'm butchering that, not sure. He says, What do you say to Tesla Bears? Holmar's catalog says, Suck my balls. And Elon Musk says, Once Tesla fully solves autonomy and has Optimus in volume production, anyone still holding a short position will be obliterated, even Gates. And if anyone is wondering where we are on Tesla's S curve, this is probably pretty appropriate. We're about here. And there's a long runway of upside surprises to go from here. Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas said this about Tesla in a new note today. The title is the first positive surprise of the year. A quote show stealer from today's update is the all time high record is the all time record high stationary storage number 9.4 gigawatt hours for Q2, which is nearly 2x our forecast as Gen AI accelerates Acceleration spurs a multi-generational increase in energy demand, electricity generation, and data center investment. We believe investors will begin to pay more attention to Tesla energy. It goes on to say Tesla started its Independence Day celebration early with a positive Q2 delivery beat, 33,000 lower inventory, and a large storage beat to remind investors it's not just an auto company. It says deliveries beat, but... Q2 deliveries came to 443,956 units versus Morgan Stanley at 427,303 and the average estimate on Wall Street at 437,812. While this is one of the first and only positive auto surprises of the year for Tesla, we still believe matching last year's delivery number would be difficult to achieve. Tesla would have to grow second half deliveries by about 6% year over year to hold volume flat. Number two, inventory reduction, a one point five billion dollar boost to working capital tesla delivered thirty three thousand units more than it produced in q2 driving a seven day reduction in in days supply of inventory on a full calendar day basis in the quarter the q2 inventory reductions substantially but not fully offsets the increase in inventory seen in q1 at an ATP of $45,000 per unit, this by itself drives a $1.5 billion working capital inflow during the quarter, higher than the $600 million tailwind we have expected. Our Q2 forecast for $0.9 billion free cash flow burn looks incre incrementally more conservative following this print. And not least, he goes on to say, is Tesla getting its mojo back? A little more than two weeks ago, our clients were preparing for shareholders to reject Elon Musk's 2018 comp package, potentially setting up a change of management and strategy, compounding many months of negative news flow. Fast forward to today, clients are beginning to ask us about positive catalysts into Q2 results and beyond. We're getting asked for our proprietary Tesla energy model and even our humanoid robot TAM model. Is this the same Tesla from early June? And especially after a rally like this, yeah, uh, this is the same but different Tesla. This is the Tesla that is now on everyone's radar again, whereas everyone subsequently just forgot about Tesla. They just, you know, didn't care about Tesla for a long time. And now people's eyes are being opened to just that. But we already have. We already have some FUD articles on Tesla that are just not accurate this is from cars technica it says tesla posts disappointing production and sales numbers for q2 2024 they say sales fell by five percent with production cut by more and that just makes me even more bullish because people really don't have a clue what's going on with tesla if we take a look at option activity so far today from big money you have 72 different trades totaling 26.14 million dollars with a positive order value of 65 percent now even heading into this number today from tesla you actually shouldn't seen the short interest rise from about 3.8 percent to 3.83 percent call it bad timing if you want to the dollar amount currently sold short is $22.25 billion, excluding what is happening today. So you're sitting at almost $25 billion that is currently sold short in Tesla. And just over the past 
couple of days, that would be about a $7 billion loss that short sellers have now started to face. That's getting, that's getting to be problematic. And, and it wouldn't surprise me if we get another good day or another two good days or so shorts could really start to cover in in, in some volume here today it looks like about 276,000 shares are being returned or covered today and uh, borrowed shares at about 1.2 million so on net you have almost 925,000 shares that are being sold short today so it doesn't even look like shorts have started to cover on their short positions and uh, that's pretty surprising because you would think a 9% move higher following a 5% move higher, a 7% move higher would, uh, you know, be at least partly caused by some shorts covering short positions. In fact, it looks like the opposite of that. Shorts haven't even started to cover yet. And what makes me even more bullish on Tesla, at least in the short to medium term, um, you know, call it the next couple of months, is if you take a look at stock twits the sentiment for tesla is bearish today at 25. yesterday it was bearish at 42. tesla stock is up nine percent today so what you're actually seeing driving tesla is big money that's getting into tesla it's really not retail investors retail i think there's a lot of retail that's still kicking themselves for selling their tesla stock and is uh you know maybe wanting to get in but wanting to uh let the stock run up quite a bit still in a bit of denial if you sold tesla and uh you're watching tesla now at almost 230 dollars per share you're probably kicking yourself you're probably not feeling too good about uh tesla overall so retail still seems pretty bearish on tesla and this would suggest that actually big money is the one that is driving this move higher as you know, retail can start to get back into Tesla at higher prices and continue to drive the stock higher. If you take a look at Tesla stock on a basis, here are things get really good. You've you've already just today broke above your longer term downtrending line. This line here, critically important. You're above that now. And uh, the level in which to break above was about 223 per share so it looks like you will most likely close above that level and if you do it could turn into a strong level of support and even drive the stock higher i think this is a a, a big level uh for the technicians out there and uh a break here can lead to much higher prices for tesla now with that said you're well above your 200 day moving average at 205 dollars 68 cents per share so on a technical basis things look better than you've seen in a very 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 long time for tesla now again with that said the rsi for tesla is now sitting at almost 80. you can stay overbought for a period of time a month is not too crazy but eventually you do get a reset to that rsi that could be tesla stock trading sideways for a period of time or that could be an outright drop we'll see what happens but i think after numbers like this Heading into August 8th, RoboTaxi Day, there's a lot more good things going for Tesla than bad things. And I really don't care that the RSI is 80. I don't think you're going to get a big fall from here. In other news today, we did have a speech from Fed Jerome Powell. We really didn't get any new information. He really wasn't any more hawkish or dovish than we would have expected. The, the main headliner here on CNBC says Powell says Fed has made quite a bit of progress on inflation but needs more confidence before cutting rates and basically the same old Powell is what we got today. We did get Jolt's job openings that came in at 8.14 million which was higher than the 7.9 million we were expecting which this overall is good news. Now I know a lot of people are going to say well how's that good news because it suggests the labor market and the economy are still doing okay because you don't look to hire employees if you have a downbeat or pessimistic expectation for the future right so more job openings more jobs that need filled better off the economy is doing and right now that's what matters as inflation continues to fall you need to see the economy doing well if you don't then you're setting up for a massive crash right and, and that's not going to be good uh, for market so you did want to see the jolt job openings come in good 
And uh, that's exactly what happened. And I think there was some fear heading into today that the job openings number could come in really low. Now, whether or not these numbers are actually accurate or not, that's really a topic for another video. You can see last month's uh, revision was a revision of a, about 100,000 jobs or so. Uh, the, the previous number we had was 8.059 million. It was revised revised down to 7.919 million. So lost about 100,000 job openings in the revision. We'll see. There will be more revisions and I expect larger revisions to come. I do think things are weakening and job openings overall will continue to weaken. But so far, at least the data we got today, doesn't suggest the economy is in a bad place at all. And this is giving the markets a little bit of a boost today. The Russell 2000 is up 0.18%. S&P is up 0.14%. NASDAQ up 0.31%. The Dow barely negative, And the VIX is down almost 1%. Ten-year Treasury yields falling today. About 3.5 basis points is also helping things out. Following yesterday's almost 14 basis point rise in the ten-year Treasury, to see the bond market not collapsing yet again today is definitely a welcome sign. And just to conclude this video, Wedbush analyst Dan Ives says Tesla marks a huge comeback with a Q2 delivery beat. It says the with the worst that is now likely in the rearview mirror for the company. Tesla said Tuesday it delivered 443,956 vehicles in Q1. Wall Street was looking for around 438,000, according to Wedbush. Quote, this was a huge comeback performance from Tesla and chief executive Elon Musk, with the, with the street expecting a clear miss this quarter with EV demand still choppy globally, Wedbush analysts, including Dan Ives, said in a note to clients. The company likely saw a mini rebound in China, the analyst said. The good Q2 performance is just the appetizer to the main event in our view which is Rubble Taxi Day on August 8th to unleash the next part of the Tesla autonomous story with all the street watching, the analyst said. Wedbush maintained its outperform rating and a $275 price target on Tesla stock. So let me know what you think about all of this information down below in the comment section. In the next video, we will go over everything you need to know about where Tesla is likely going from here, the upcoming big catalyst that you need to know and much more. So stay tuned to the channel for that one coming out at 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.